from many familiar Anderson faces such as Tom Hanks to some new ones such as Stranger Things' Maya Hawk. Wes Anderson is back with another live action with a stellar cast packed to the gills. Here's Asteroid City's superstar lineup. Nobody does it like the seven-time Oscar nominee when it comes to putting together a star-studded cast. Wes Anderson just outdid himself with Asteroid City, which features literally everyone. No jokes. The 1950s-inspired film's cast is as good as it gets. We all know how much he loves his regular faces, and of course his upcoming film has got a fair share of those. Jason Schwartz Adrian Brody, Willem Dafoe, Jeffrey Wright, and Tilda Swinton, just to name a few. But what makes the lineup even better is all the newcomers to Anderson's candy-colored world. We have Suicide Squad's Margot Robbie. Let me tell you, nothing in this movie is CGI. Like, That's not true. Well, I mean, okay, yes, a few things like... It's like a whole flo floating when, explosion. Yeah, yeah, like when, the world, like when, when the world is kind of blowing up, that didn't actually There's happen. There's like a crocodile man it fighting people. It was a big people. budget, but it wasn't that big. But, uh, I think it's CGI, yeah. But like, explosions all real. Like, Academy Award winner Tom Hanks, Maya Hawk, Steve Carell, and Rita Wilson. If this isn't enough for you and you want some more Hollywood superstars, don't worry, because Scarlett Johansson and Brian Cranston are both set to make their Wes Anderson live action debut after being voice actors in Isle of Dogs. Where'd you get that dog? He looks like me with a pink nose. I come from a nine-dog litter, but they drown the sisters. We're not a rare breed, short-haired, oceanic, speckled-eared, sporthound mix. I'm, uh, I'm getting confused now. So this cast has you pretty much covered. I mean, these are Hollywood's biggest names sharing a single screen. Nothing new for Anderson because he's known for bringing big faces together. Bill Murray was also originally cast in the upcoming film, but he had to drop out due to contracting COVID-19. That's a real bummer because it would have been Murray's 10th collaboration with Anderson. But no worries because the St. Vincent actor was replaced by Steve Carell. Now that we know who's going to star in the movie, what is the film actually about? Good question. Here's all you need to know about Asteroid City's plot. The movie is set in 1955 and is a poetic meditation to the meaning of life. According to an official description, the film brings together students and parents from across the country for scholarly competition, rest and recreation, comedy, drama, romance, and more. So there's a lot going on. The movie is set in America but was shot in Chinchon, Spain, just outside Madrid. The live action will follow Anderson's classic and signature aesthetics, with his endearing cringe character and storylines. You know how much fans love that. Asteroid City has echoes of Moonrise Kingdom, which was set in the 60s and told a similar story. The sci-fi storyline along with A-listers sounds like the perfect formula for creating a hit. Fans have a first look at the movie as the first trailer just got released, and the trailer is a treat for Anderson fans. The trailer is full of Anderson's classic pastels and sunshine-saturated yellows, oranges, and teals. It's all about a quirky town centered around an asteroid crater with our fave actors playing different quirky roles, just like Anderson likes it. Fans saw Hank's Anderson debut in the trailer and he's drowning in the director's aesthetics. Hank's is a gruff grandfather all dressed in pastels. If you've seen Wes Anderson movies, you know that he loves making his actors follow a deadpan style. And the performers in this film are following that as well. Other than that, the trailer showed us how Wes took all his techniques and pushed them to the limits with this project. The city looks flat and fake and more like an illustrated postcard, which is exactly the look the director was going for. Oh, and let's not forget about Scarlett Johansson's first look in the film. She rocks the perfect red lip as she says, I don't like the way that guy looked at us, the alien, like we're doomed. And Jason Schwartzman's character replies with, maybe we are. Also, did I forget to mention there are aliens? The trailer gave us the perfect amount of info we needed without giving away too much. All I can say now is I'm sure the cast had too much fun filming this one. Let's look at what some of the cast members have said about the film. While talking to the Collider in 2022, Brian Cranston said that working on Asteroid City was like fulfilling an actor dream camp. When you work with for an auteur like that, um, it is a big trust exercise. And, and uh, we did this movie coming up, Asteroid City, in Spain. 
and it was it wasn't easy work working for wes is not easy it's very detailed of course it's like a dream you have so many stellar actors on set from tom hanks to margot robbie it's like the oscars every day he did also talk about the fact that working with wes isn't a job for the week anderson is very detailed and very specific and he wants things his way i mean that's the formula for making a wes anderson movie it's all in the details apart from all the shooting bit cranston said that it was like a party every night in Spain. All the actors had too much fun at a five-star restaurant and would gather every night for a guitar jamming session or just to exchange thoughts. It's like a big Asteroid City family. And most of the actors had worked together before several times, so I'm sure bonding wasn't an issue at all. Jeff Goldblum, who's also a Wes Anderson regular, talked about his experience in Spain. While doing press for Jurassic Park Dominion, he opened up about his role in Asteroid City. Jurassic World movie. Yes, sir. Fallen, Fallen King. Kingdom, Fallen, Fallen Kingdom, Kingdom, and this is a high honor. Uh, Funko has put out two figures of you as uh, Dr. Ian Malcolm. These is, are. Is it yeah, Funko or it, Funko? Funko Pop. Funko Pop, I think. Funko, we yeah, it's Funko, right? Funko. What did I say? I thought you said did I say Funko. Funko. He didn't want to give away too much, but described his role as kind of tasty. The Independence Day actor talked about how working with a Golden Globe winning director is always a pleasure and how he's a genius. I'm sure we'll get so much more insight into the film once the cast starts doing press for it. Fans are dying to hear more from Margot Robbie and Scarlett Johansson. Speaking Speaking of fans, with a cast this extensive, of course they're excited. They've already taken social media by storm. Thanks to Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, it takes seconds for directors and actors to find out if fans like their work. And good news for Anderson, because his upcoming project isn't only liked, but it's already loved by millions. And it's not even out yet. Wes Anderson's style and sense of humor aren't everyone's cup of tea, but the director gets praised more and more for everything he puts out. YouTube commentator Dio Alfonso Alfonso said, just when you think it can't get more Wes Anderson, it gets more Wes Anderson. And he's right. Fans were already gushing over the superstar cast, but a look at the trailer made them even more excited. A fan on Reddit wrote, the sets look amazing. Moonrise Kingdom camp ask but in 1950s desert Americana. Another joked about the fact that the movie was so stacked with A-listers that Anderson didn't feel the need to add Margot Robbie and Edward Norton in the trailer. Maybe they are the aliens, and he just didn't want to give them away. Just saying. Fans can't wait for the movie to be out. This brings us to the question, what is the release date of Asteroid City? According to Deadline, the film is set to premiere at Cannes Film Festival in May. And as for the theatrical release, it will hit select theaters on June 16th later this year. And it will be released nationwide on June 23rd. I don't know about you, but the cast has me sold and I'll be front row at the theater. Asteroid City isn't the only Anderson movie on the horizon. The director is also working on another Roald Dahl adaptation, The Wonderful Story of Henry Sugar, and six more. It stars Benedict Cumberbatch alongside Dev Patel, Rupert Friend, and Richard Ayoade, a star-studded cast once again. Given Anderson's previous Roald Dahl adaptation of Mr. Fantastic Fox, fans know this one will be just as good, if not better. The release date for the adaptation is yet to be announced, but it will hit our screens sometime later this year. Till then, we have Asteroid City to wait for. That's all for Who's Part of the film's superstar lineup.